Hi everyone, in this tutorial we are going to create a Revit folding door family which will look like this. So let's get started. You will be able to download this folder. I will upload it to my GitHub account. Go to this fold start folder. I have already opened this sample project. Let's start creating a family. Select the generic model template. Remove unnecessary views. Change the category to doors. Create a reference line. Now make sure the end point of this line is aligned to these two planes. Create an angular dimension, like so. Attach a parameter to it. Let's create a parameter. Name it like so, angle. And it's going to be an instance parameter. Let's check if it's working fine. Yeah, it's working fine. Here you can type any value. But in our case, we are going to restrict user value in between 0 and 90. And to achieve so, so open this tab, create a new parameter. Let's name it angle. Type of parameter is angle and instance parameter. Go to start folder. You will find this formula text file. Copy this formula and paste it here. So using this formula, we are ensuring that we will user will not able to assign a value greater than 90. For example, if you put 120 and it will go to automatically 90 and if it's, it's negative value it's going to be 0 if it's the value is between 0 and 90 it will take the value fine hit ok now go to this create tab select this tool sweep pick this path edit profile open this left view here just create a simple rectangle profile. Select the upper line. Con click on this icon. Select this dimension. Now let's attach a parameter to this dimension. And it's going to be height. Select this line. Click on this icon. Select the dimension and attach thickness parameter. Okay, okay. Go back to floor plan. Let's test if it's working. Yeah, it's working. Set the thickness to 60 like so apply ok hit ok save this family name it door geometry put your cursor on on this object hit tab button click this reference line click on this icon select this dimension and attach to it the width parameter so okay now go to this family types create a new width parameter here and it's going to be the half of 
with value here. Attach the new created parameter like so. So of course this object is the half of the for the complete folding door. This is why we are reducing the width to half of uh, the complete width of folding door. Save this family. Now create family. Pick again generic model template remove unnecessary reviews change the category to doors go back to the door geometry family or this family to the new one place it here let's save this family and you can name it door Go back to this door geometry family and let's add a circle just to later in following families we can see the origin clearly. Load again this family to door family. So now we know this the origin is select this object. Now we need to map these parameters to door family. Click here thickness select the thickness width now click on this click here let's create a parameter name it angle it's going to be an instance parameter hit ok fine everything is fine now Copy this object, uh, rotate this 180 degrees. Now you we need to make a mirror like so. So make sure you are now now we need to align these two planes to this point, okay? So make sure hitting tab button you are selecting the the corner of these two lines okay click now we can align these family planes like so okay now if we test our family let's just give zero yeah, it's working fine. 12, 90. Yeah, it's working fine. Okay. And the final step is to... Yeah, now we can remove this circle. Load, save this family. Load into door family. Override. Fine. Now let's create new family. This time we are going to pick the door template. Open this one. Now go to this door family, load into the the new family and just paste it here. Select this family. Let's again map parameters thickness to thickness width to width height to height and again we need to create the angle parameter fine so let's set the angle to zero initially it's like so so this this is just to give you the concept and the techniques to build a folding family later you can add details as much you need but this is this family is going to be simple just to explain you the 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 techniques how i build this family
so now you can save this family as falling falling door now make sure we align uh, this origin to this plane okay click here and click on this object the line of this object here and pin this let's load this family to sample project and test it place an instance of door as this object is parametric you can go in edit type and change its dimensions for example let's which is 2 meter let's create a multiple instances okay uh, you can change values of this parameter you will see that the door is behaving as expected so we can use dynamo to do the animation i will also share this dynamo script in the folder so you can open and play with this let's uh, put this in automatic mode and now scrolling this you will see that the door is behaving the family is behaving as expected